The coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, has officially become a pandemic. This scary disease that seems to be spreading around the world very quickly has become scarier than the 2018 Ebola outbreak, 2016 Zika that went around. It's even scarier than the swine flu if you guys remember back 2010. SARS in 2004 was scary. The NBA has just officially been shut down. I'm so sad. And this is due to an NBA player getting the coronavirus. He tested positive. There has been and school shutdowns, large gatherings is illegal. Toilet paper and paper towel are all sold out. Hand sanitizer is selling for hundreds of dollars online. I don't even think Amazon has hand sanitizer anymore. Is this the end of the world as we know it? Is this real life right now? Well, how's it going, you guys? I'm a very scared Landon Dalitzing, and I can't believe what is actually happening. Are people overreacting, over freaking out? Or do we have the right to be worried about our health and our safety? Should we be digging out underground bunkers? Well, let me know what you guys think of the coronavirus in the comment section below. Where do you guys live and what's been affected because of this virus? All right, let's jump right into this list because I don't know how much time we have in this world before it's over. So this is the top 10 scary things you need to know about the coronavirus right now. Starting off this list, number 10, how many people might actually have the coronavirus? Well, a Harvard University epidemiologist says that as much as 70% of the world's population could get the coronavirus. That's around 5 billion people that could be infected. Is this real life right now? So the chance of me getting this virus it's it's very likely, and that is damn scary. At the time of this recording, just over 126,000 people are affected, and there have been over 4,600 deaths. The scary thing is, within a day or two of watching this video, that number could be much higher. Number nine, the NBA just had its first NBA player infected with the virus. This right here is a Rudy Gobert, and he plays for the Utah Jazz. He has just been tested positive for the virus. The Jazz versus the Thunder game was canceled as soon as the results came in. The other game that happened that night was canceled like just moments before tip off. And I'm talking about the New Orleans Pelicans game that was canceled. Everyone showed up to the arena like I'm talking players, fans, officials, everyone. And then once the news broke, NBA players quickly left the court and went back into the locker room. Fans were booing but I understand the precaution that the NBA is taken. So many NBA players drink from the same water. They have these crazy handshakes. So many of these NBA players spit or lick their own hands and then they touch other players and then they touch other players and then they lick their own hands. So with this news, the NBA has shut down the whole season until further notice. And I'm sure every player is gonna have to be tested. This means the NHL, the upcoming MLB season, it might all be shut down as well. And as I'm recording this video right now, uh, breaking news that just came in Donovan Mitchell teammate of Gobert is now the second player to have the coronavirus so it seems like the coronavirus is going after really good players Rudy Gobert is the defensive player of the year and Mitchell is an up-and-coming scoring beast so let's just hope it doesn't touch LeBron James and for this NBA season I don't know what is going to happen it might be canceled Vince Carter might have just potentially played his last ever game he was substituted into the game he scored a three and that might be the last moment ever if this season is like 100% canceled All right, let's move on and number eight at the time of this recording the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games have they have not been canceled, which brings up major concerns. Right now, gathering in large groups have been banned in many countries to prevent the further spread. During the Olympics, everyone from around the world, including many infected countries, are going to be coming together and interact with each other. They're gonna be spreading the coronavirus. The Olympics usually brings in thousands of people, which could make the coronavirus spread very quickly. And I'm not sure if the decision to not cancel the Olympics is due to money. I mean, it said that there's $1 billion on the line or it could be much more than that. But at what cost is that worth it? I'm still thinking that it's going to be canceled. We're just gonna have to wait and find out. The Olympics starts in July. So maybe they're just trying to outweigh this whole thing. Moving into number seven, celebrities have been testing positive for the coronavirus. And you know what? I'm gonna be doing a top 10 celebrities who have the coronavirus video coming up. Uh, I might drop the video tomorrow and I need your 
your guys' help in the comment section below. Tell me anyone that you know, uh, celebrity wise, that have the coronavirus. I, I know Tom Hanks is there. Or if you guys want to head over to my Instagram, Atlanta Productions, and tell me what celebrities have the virus. So I'll try to include them as well. Like I said, Tom Hanks, Rita Wilson, his wife, apparently tested positive for the virus. Before you guys totally freak out, like, oh my God, it's spreading fast in America. Uh, they were in Australia where there is a lot of infected people. They were on a movie set when they got it. And also I said apparently they have the coronavirus because there are a ton of fake news out there. And at the time I was researching for this video, I'm pretty sure it's true. I think this is very scary, but people can't be so naive and think like you can't get it. Because look, a very big celebrity just got the virus and I'm sure he washes his hands all the time. Number six, now this is scary for people who have friends or family in Europe. President Donald Trump just announced a Europe travel ban starting this Friday at midnight. There's confusion there because midnight on Eastern time, PST time, Pacific, Mountain time. Uh, which time zone is he talking about? Is it British time? Is it... Yeah, we don't know what time the ban officially starts. Well, this ban will leave millions of people stranded. America is taking these threats of the virus very serious, even though Trump has been actively telling people there's nothing to worry about, people. He seems pretty worried now because to ban all of Europe, I mean, this is a pretty huge deal. Has something like this ever happened before? This ban will be for 30 days at minimum and might extend depending if the virus has been contained. Pretty sure as I was filming this, there is now a level two ban, there's a level three ban, so there's different levels of bans. Level two is a 60 day ban for those countries that are you know more infected, places like Italy, and there's a level three ban. Um, they haven't fully announced details on that. Number five, so saying all that, let's talk about Europe, especially Italy. It's a very scary time for that country right now. They just hit over 12,000 cases with almost 1,000 people that lost their lives due to the virus. Italy is actually the second most infected country outside of China. Iran is the third with 9,000 known cases. And I say known cases because more and more people haven't been tested. Italy is on lockdown. Everything has been shut down except for food stores and pharmacies. So things that are closed are things like bars, restaurants, hairdressers. You can't get a haircut right now movie theaters, pretty much anywhere that has, you know, a big crowd of people. At number four, Michael Osterholm, who was just seen on Joe Rogan's podcast, is an American scientist who is a U.S. infectionist disease expert. Well, he thinks that this pandemic will last at least, at least six months and masks and gloves will not stop you from catching it. Well, that's pretty damn scary. Will hand sanitizer even help you? I'm not even sure if there are hand sanitizers in stores and the company that produces hand sanitizers they're like on cloud nine right now they're just banking and i swear people are selling them online for thousands of dollars also if the coronavirus is still around in six months that is insane i can't imagine how many people would be infected by it number three if you have the coronavirus and are cured well, you can actually get the virus again, which makes it super hard to contain. Also, just letting you guys know, if you do feel like you have a fever, any symptoms of the virus, please try to wash your hands a little bit more often than you normally do. Try to isolate yourself. Don't cough on people, touch people. Uh, try to get tested as well. Right now, below this video, below this YouTube video, YouTube is actually providing everyone with a link to give you guys information about the virus in your local area. So if you're in Texas, you clicked on this video, they'll show you local information on Texas, if you're in the UK, so on and so on. You can click the link for updates in your area. There's also travel advice, how to prepare for this. For example, if you're sick, stay home, don't hug or kiss people. They talk about symptoms and treatments, preventions and risks. So make sure you guys check out the link down below, just below this video. Also a side note, I went to my local YMCA like last night, I was playing badminton there, and after each match, we usually like shake hands, good job, but not even a fist bump. People were just sticking out their rackets to me, and I'm like, am I supposed to touch my racket with your racket? What if my racket has Corona? My racket touched your racket, that racket now has Corona, and then you touch your own racket. It's pretty scary, even here in Toronto, what is going on? At number two, the possibility of President Donald Trump contracting the coronavirus is likely. So far, Trump has not been tested, and some say he might actually be afraid to get tested because he may not be able to be the acting president if he has the coronavirus, if he gets too sick. 
Also, he isn't showing symptoms, so I guess why would he get tested? I still think you should. If Trump got the coronavirus, that would be disastrous. America would totally just shut down, there'd be chaos. They would close down all their borders. If you think the whole Europe thing is pretty serious, the Canadian borders, just the worldwide borders, no one can come in unless you're American. And if you think building the Mexican wall is their biggest worry, imagine keeping out the rest of the world. Everyone would be panicking, the economy might take a major dive. What do you guys think would happen if President Donald Trump had the virus. Finally, number one, there are reports saying that the virus can actually live on some surfaces for up to three days, which is scary because um, we deal with a lot of imports, a lot of surfaces being imported in. I mean, there are so many imports from China and in China right now, they have over 80,000 cases of people with the virus and everything seems to be made in China. So they might have to shut down a ton of manufacturing companies, which is very scary for the world. Let me list a few things made from China that they might have to stop production until the virus is contained. Cell phones, so goodbye iPhones, shoes, computers, clothes, umbrellas, video game consoles, electric toasters. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, and it's pretty important essential items as well. China exports over $400 billion worth of goods to America each year. Imagine just bam, it's all gone. $400 billion worth of items. We might not only be complaining about not being able to wipe our butts anymore. Well, there you guys have it. Let me know if I should make a part two because there's probably so much more to talk about, so many updates. I'm sure a lot of you guys in the comment section below is gonna tell me so many things to bring up for the next video. And I wanna keep you guys as informed and updated as possible. I was your host, Landon Dallitzing, and I will see you guys all in the next Most Amazing Top 10 video.